You're gonna try to make amends with Snake Lady? You betcha. You arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at Vera. Do you wanna know do you want to know what's this this one's for, Vera? No. I will take that as a yes. The rose shaped napkins fold is for birthdays between the age of sixteen and twenty two. Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, the swan is the swan folding is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. As a fashion enthusiast, I have never seen I have never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, and this black swan folding is for weddings where you plan on brutally murder all the guests. Not very popular. The black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. You happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up the interaction. You decide to show off your most impressive napkin. So who do you like more? Self-aware napkins whose sole purpose is to fold more <laughs> napkins? Or the... The writing snake fold is for when it's time to leave. Vera alone and stop explaining napkin folds. So how do you, who do you like more, murderous fish or snake? Both of them seem as deadly. Like lovely individuals. You have been trying to go for Vera this whole time. <laughs> yes, I have, but I have been screwing up with her, and I haven't screwed up with a uh, mermaid. But. She did li like what you did at lunch, so... She did. That's what lunch is, by the way. It's a choice of who do you want to like you more. Oh. Do you want Miranda or Vera to like you more? In that order, top to bottom, Miranda, Vera. I, I just... It's easy to tell because you can read. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's quite a specific fold. Under what circumstances would one use... Oh, I see. Damn right, you see, and notice how my whole head is covered in writing snakes? So basically just assume that don't talk to Vera about napkin time. It's all the time. It's a year-round festival. People, people the world over celebrate it by not folding napkins at me. Well, it's not very elaborate napkin fold, is it? You explained that your fold lacks the complexity to make up for the 12 ounces of cobra venom it can spit at will. Right. Well, we subscribe to different schools of nap napkinry. I'll leave you to be then. Your reward for running Miranda off is a one-on-one -on -one lunch with Vera. You never felt so alive. Hey. Oh, hell yeah. Stealing your man. Oh, <laughs> Strangely, you could have sworn Polly and Damien were at this table when you picked it. Psst. Hey, loser. Down here. It's us, Polly and Damien. I didn't this table for totally innocent reasons. A freshest roar it sounds from the door. <clears throat> sounds from the door of the cafeteria. Crazy Martin, the werebear, janitor, is here, and he's looking for someone. Oh shit, he's here! Why is he after us anyway? I think we did really fall- uh, help. I think what we did really falls more under federal jurisdiction. International law, more like! Those munchkins were Canadian citizens! <laughs> now that you mention it, I think you might actually have to face a war crimes tribunal. Worth it though, right? Oh, totally. As long as we can get away from Buzzkill the bear over there. Uh, hell or ghost? Well, I, I'm not gonna steal your man, so don't worry. Yeah. Just hide in the ghost zone. You know the sp <clears throat> special alternative dimension it only ghosts can use. There we go. That was definitely easy to say. But I can't hide in the ghost zone. I'm not a ghost. I guess you should have thought of that before you spent all that time being alive, huh? The life is a choice! Whoa, okay. I don't have time to sit here and argue. Pro-life or pro-choice with you, my dude? 
Ha <laughs> ha! Interesting. <clears throat> See you in the ghost zone. No, you won't. You can't follow Polly into the ghost zone. From the way she winks at you before crossing over, looks like you're. I'm dying. Ah. <laughs> Why am I dying? Help! You're one step closer to the bone zone. Ah. Uh, this is the shop, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. I want... Oh, it's sold out. I wanted to get fun. That's a shame. You can do the surprise one. Sure. You got chlamydia. Uh? A lottery. Oh. oh, your stats just got tanked, but you have a ton oh. of money. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh. What can I do with all that money? Buy more stat ups. Yeah, I guess I guess that's true. Uh, you're hoping to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach seems to have a different idea. What's this? Eating regular food again? Why do you Fruits, eat vegetables? Why meat, do any of us eat? Dairy, blood, I guess huh? I need to eat. Oh. It's like, why do we need to eat? Well, I <laughs> guess my character would need to eat. I'm the only one that actually probably matters. Yeah. <laughs> I, Social I guess for status. Sake. <laughs> Dairy, blood. These are all parts of a complete lunch, sure. But you're forgetting the most important food group of all dietary supplements. Delicious. Don't you worry now. Oh, coach never goes anywhere without some emergency vitamins. Here, take your pick. Would it be rude to turn him down? And who knows? Maybe you'll gain some benefit after all. Coach holds out two pill bottles. Uh, Palomino Gold 25 Horse Supplement for a shiny coat and luxurious mane. A complete black bottle and, um, embalzoned? Oh, wait. Emblazoned. Emblazoned with the Chinese character for party time. Interesting. I think, maybe, I think. The Monday? This one, I hope. You swallow the entire bottle of mystery pills before Coach can stop you. Whoa! Slow down there, champ. The old woman who sold me these those vitamins told me they were basically poison. Good I bought them care. anyway, because as we all know, whatever doesn't kill you makes you... You wake up 36 hours later in the middle of an impassioned speech to the student council about dolphin sex. You have no idea what happened during those 36 hours, but you have a new tattoo and everyone keeps calling you Deep 69. You gain four buns. Whoa. I think you just uh, did a 69 with a dolphin. Oh. Everyone chooses a brand. Say your choice and. My brand. Bethesda. <laughs> EA Sports. EA Sports. Go fuck yourself. Uh, um, 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 pushing shop. Uh, uh, auto zone. Player ordered is decided based on how silly of a mascot for. Oh. Um. I don't think who has Mine a mascot is. here. <laughs> Pusheen has a mascot. Yeah, it's Pusheen. Oh yeah, the, that Pusheen isn't silly. It's just thing. cute. So you're out. Yeah. What was the others? EA Sports, which I am the manifestation of greed. So you're just a pile of money. Yeah. Uh, what would Bethesda be? Glitchy ass game. So, just a pile of glitching code. I chose AutoZone, so my mascot would be Lightning McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> he got first. <laughs> All right. Glitching code. Glitching code. That works. <laughs> no debate there. Lightning McQueen is All there. your stat. Oh, no shop on the last day. That's right. What? No shop in the evening. Go for it, buddy. Oh, uh, it's mine. 
So which stat do you want to raise? Charm? Because it's your highest stat so far? That... Or do you want fun? Because it's your lowest stat so far. It's always been low, dude. Fair Weren't enough. you looking for fun this whole game? Yeah, and now he has zero fun. He's so not fun. I, I feel so bad for you. He's not reading! Oh, sorry. Dickhead! You're you're casually chatting with one the small magical Latino cat. And you start telling him the hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know, which one? The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll of the president, and the oh, penguin ma the penguin mask, and the mi mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, a hundred people or, or so burst into hysterical laughter. You turn, into, you turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into fun. Polly grabs you by the arm, so the two of you can talk, but the course, she doesn't want to stop dancing even for a second. Yeah, this party is super crazy. For like the first 15 minutes, it's just regular crazy, which was fine. But I want to take it to the next level, you know? I want this party to be criminally crazy. I want to be a danger to itself and others. I want a psychiatrist to prescribe medication to this party. And then I want to take that medication. Are you with me? You're obviously with me. I'm hot, and hot people are always right. So how do we kick this party up a notch? Most normal parties only exist for four dimensions. In four dimensions, but I've made a machine that lets us party in the fifth dimension. We'll steal a bunch of helicopters, stretch the net between them, and the party on that. Let's do the fifth dimension. Oh, cool. Uh, booyah. Party gun, activate. You fire your fifth dimensional party gun at the rave, and shit gets very real, very fast. Physical space becomes meaningless con construct. You are all one overlapping body that loves to get turned. You are the music in each other's ears, and you are the immense strings of vibrating harp, and you are high as balls. I am at... W <laughs> One with the cosmos, and the cosmos is flipping hammered. You, you party for a thousand centuries at a percentile time, a perceptual time, and still makes, and still make it back to school in time for the I next period. Fun. I got his, I got my fun and a smart. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. The match is so intense. And both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against part of the other team leader's charm. <clears throat> that commitment amazes your whole team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win and take two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a bit less fabulous. But none of that matters. You're late to meet Polly for more party experiments. All right. Our research is progressing well so far, but we've got a very limited sample size. I need to know that we can make any party the best, not just some parties. Tomorrow morning, we're going to crash a funeral. If we can make that fun, we can make anything fun. So brainstorm time, how can we put the fun back in funeral? Uh... Oh, these are great, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love these. These are great. Um... <laughs> oh, dude. Everyone knows the one thing that makes a party fun. Am I right? Bouncy oh, castle. castle. Later that night. Best funeral ever. Look at them all inside the bouncy castle. Bouncing and crying. This is even better than when I died. And look, they've even got the corpse in there with them. He's having a great time. The pale corpse of the deceased rolls around limply as the mourners continue to bounce. Someone goes in wearing high heels and punctures the floor, collapsing the structure. Everyone suffocates tragically, 
and their weeping spirits leave their bodies. Sweet! More ghosts! Now we're cooking with ectoplasm. Hey, Sin, you know what? I think we're getting really close to the true formula for a rad party. You're the best science partner I've ever had. <clears throat> you guess she hasn't had lots of science partners. You doubt she even knows the real definition of science. She's just too happy for you to correct her now. Come on, the night's still young. Let's go turn an all Ugh. Let's go turn an all night laundromat into an epic rave. Those washing machines don't know what hit them. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Alright. Let's see. Break and get, more rich. get rich, get rich. Hell I'm already yeah. rich. Get richer. Look how rich he is. Yeah. Step up. Damn, he called you out. Eh, I'll just get smarter. Oh. That day you learn a ton of spells that are as cool as they are seemingly useless. Spell to review, stickers, stickiness. <laughs> a spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Whoa. A spell to gain plus two smarts. You actually use that last spell, and you gain plus two smarts. Oh, you turn damn. around and find Vera, staring at you. This often happens, but for some reason, it's not a death stare this, this time. Damn. She actually looks kind of happy to see you. Weird. You decide to do what you do best, push your luck. Finally, if you had taken any longer to come over, I would have had... Many of my minions drag you here. Listen, my date for tonight was unexpectedly eaten by vultures. Totally not my fault. Anyways, I need to fill the slot somehow, and I thought maybe you could Ooh. recommend me one of your most attractive friends. Haha, uh -huh, just kidding, darling. You're not half bad. But seriously, meet me at the Thousand Arms at 9.15 p.m. Or the vultures will get to eat twice today. Did Vera just ask you on a date? She did. Damn. This is like Christmas in whatever damn month it is right now. <laughs> but if you don't want to be more than just a one-time thing, you best come up with an incredible dinner gift to win her over. <laughs> hmm. I mean, she is pretty self-centered, am I right? Cool. Okay, so I'm thinking of downsides to both of them, right? Yeah. The mirror could be a downside because she's a gorgon, right? So, so she'll probably like accidentally turn herself into stone. Right? Actually, I know how this game works. Uh, it's so. I don't know the answer to this one, but well, because the none of them have answers to any of them. Uh, it's based on how high your stats are. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. All so, of the questions are stat checks. Okay. So, head of her greatest enemy. That sounds like... Boldness? That kind of does. Yeah, actually. I think that would be correct. Like, that it is boldness. And Magic Mirror, it sounds like... Well, if you're buying her something charm. instead of killing someone... Charm? Yeah. And your charm is higher than your boldness, so I mean... I will go for that one. Oh, so it's Wolf. You hop over to Ye Old Magic Mirror Shop to pick up pick out their choice choices product. The flatterizer. Not only does this thing pay compliments, it also GPS locates the prettier people so you can have them kidnapped slash executed at your convenience. You present it to Vera at the dinner with a dramatic flourish. Her eyes and the eyes of all her snakes light up. Oh, you shouldn't have. Literally, you shouldn't have because now you're an accessory to all the killings I'm going to order with this thing. She, te She's technically right about all that. But luckily, she, she can afford uh, good lawyers for both of you. You gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Hey. Hey, you got both. Hell yeah. 